Yo, what's good, everybody? JP checking in live, man. RespectMyRegion.com. We're here coming with you guys live from the 2024 trade show floor. We're in this flower awkward Expo. building here on this horse track. It's called the Flower Expo. We're in Greenfield. We got a special guest. Hello, everyone. Bandy Nuds in the building. Today's journey is brought to you guys by Trees and Bada Blue. And we're going to talk a little bit about Bailey and what you do up and down the East Coast. You do high-end events. Yeah. And you have a company that that's what you do up and down the coast. Our business was founded in 2019, nice. high-end events company. We've thrown hundreds of events. Wow. Everything from festivals and concerts to smaller-scale dinners um, with infusions, without infusions, mostly like Terp Harry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whole innovative process. That's amazing. That's amazing. Curating community, cultivating those relationships. It's not an easy task. People just show up to these events. Maybe they have a little bit of difficulty buying online tickets sometimes because they enter the wrong number in or, you know, whatever their their issue is. But events is not easy. A lot goes into it. That's what ultimately what I'm getting at, right, is events is not easy. I know, but never let them see you sweat. I agree with that. That's I agree. Good. You got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy the community, enjoy what you're doing, and most of all, enjoy being around people. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes a lot of people want to throw events, but they may not be like people people per se yeah i'm like a people pleaser so i want to do everything go above and beyond think about the concept from start to finish and how the guest is really going to feel when they're there oh, it's yeah. less about me and more about like their experience and yeah, yeah. i like put myself to the side and my feelings to the side for that one day you know see people smile tell everyone you love them spread the the good vibe that of course. i'm all about of course i think putting that kind of effort into the group or into the into the culture into the community it, I try. It brings the right energy. And honestly, too, it, and it can instill a culture, right? When you're consistently doing that, you can inspire other people to do it the it's same. Yeah, right? it's not so hard. It's really yeah. not. Like, anyone can throw an event. Anyone can put those together. It's all about, like, not being in competition, collaborating whenever possible, and, and, and really, like, doing the right thing and putting your heart out there. Because when you're following your heart, you can't go wrong. It's true. I would agree with that in a lot of ways. But a lot of crazy shit happens where I live in Los Angeles. But luckily, we're here in Greenfield, Massachusetts. This is a little bit of a different tempo, right? Yeah. And so getting to know you yesterday, today, I've discovered that you do these high-end events in multiple places, which I did not know. I was thinking, okay, Northeast, right? That's what I said just 30 seconds ago, right? So what is it like working with these different communities Different rules, laws, yeah, everything. brands, yeah. right? Like It's crazy. So Massachusetts was first. It, it was very up and coming like five, ten years ago. You could do events out here and there were quite a few dispensaries, cultivators. Not only that, the market was kept alive by the legacy market for so, so long. Yep, yep. A lot of those brands were transitioning from the, the black market to the legal market and not quite sure how to do it. So Interpretation was our first event series. And we really took pleasure in, uh, in elevating these brands that were, you know, maybe legacy at the time. And now they've been able to go into the legal market. And we feel like we have kind of played a part in being able to shepherd them and create like a network and community um, to build people up and like make them, you know, legal businesses now. Shoot. It's cool to see, really. It's all coming full circle here at Flower Expo where we're seeing a lot of these brands that are brand new, but they're like our homies from like back right. in the day. Well, like, okay. you know, I used to buy Lee Brown or whatever. It was like the plug, you know? And now they have like this, you know, six figure brand. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> great to see. It's, yeah. it's fun to see the growth of them as people and as, as the company and how that correlates with the industry at the, the same industry, time. Yeah, the events, yeah. I like to think maybe we played some part of it, whether it was like you just come to the event and meeting someone that was like that connection that you needed for that. Like, please come out and network to interpret tasting, coughing cannabis, Hexpo, the Halloween Cannabis Expo is coming up actually October 26th in Seacall. Uh, please come out to any one of our events, network, make connections, bring your flyers, bring any samples and, and cute things and hand them out. Even if you want to backpack, like, I won't be offended. Like, I want people to make those connections. I want people to, like, come together in that way. Yeah, oh, I love that's it. What, that's what I get out of it. Yeah, oh, for sure. When you, uh, for us as event curators, right, or partners of events, right, yeah. just seeing other people win and that magic happening, 
watching somebody get connected or walking someone up to them that's and where that's we're that's able to like really things, like i'll be remembered like oh bailey actually helped me but even if i'm not if, they, if that if that happened for you that's all i really want i just no, want to spread the culture and make people happy yeah well i very much appreciate you being here with us on the show today do you, you what do you want the people to know most about your events and how do they where can they reach you or get involved uh you can reach us through highendeventscompany.com or any one of our many Instagram pages. We have interpretation, so you're tasting the terp and you're interpreting what you're tasting, uh, which is a trademark word too, so you gotta always look that up. I'm Bailey Nuggs. I communicate mainly through social media, mainly through Instagram. If you send me a message, I pride myself on being able to get back to people. My number one mission is empowering women and putting the stories of women first and foremost. Not saying that I don't, you know, work with uh, males or, you know, other people in the industry, but I'd like to hear from her. I'd like to promote her story, and I'd really, really like to see women be able to come into this space and come into their, their own in, in cannabis. Well, again, I appreciate you being on the show. It'll be exciting to not only discover your journey and this trip, but then follow it as well. So thank, thank you. you. Thank now, you so we do have one more part of this segment before I get you out of here. This series is called Turf Check. And so, is that your bag up there? Do you have weed in that bag? Because this is where we check on your turps to see what's in that bag. And if there's some mids in there, you don't get to hide it. This is live on the camera. I have Bostica pre-roll. Okay, we got a Bostica. Bostica, that's a real that's here. Are we allowed to pop this and smell it? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. That's some fire. That's fire. It does at least smell like weed. I don't know what strain it is. When they're like in pre rolls, it can be hard. Yeah, that doesn't smell like strain. Listen, strain. What do we got here? What do we got here? That's um. I got that last night uh, at the Sensi party. Oh, last night I, Sensi. Yeah, party. yeah. Oh, oh, this one. Here we go. Yeah. See all the terps. That one. I'm interpreting these terps. That's pretty good, right? You try. Uh, oh, I'll pick it. I got another one. There's also Miss Grat, a friend of mine, Riley, is now a new rep. Congratulations, Riley, on your new job with Miss Grat. Shout out, Miss Grat. Making yeah. it out of here now. Uh, what else? Say? I usually dab. So she's a dab. That's right. I do everything. Well, today we, we'll have to trip check you another day. There'll be another episode. For now, though, we caught you with the pre-rolls. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for spending your time with us today. Thanks. Bailey knows everybody. Follow her online. Look her up. Search her. We'll catch you guys on another episode. Term check brought to you guys by Bottom Blue. Trees, respect my region. We're a flower expo, and I'll catch you next time. We out. Peace. Peace.